The best legends for each weapon in Brawlhalla. This will be considerably shorter than my last video. Hopefully I can stay true to my word with that. <laughs> because I feel like this is more comp- like, with, with the worst legends in these scheme, I feel like this, they might require some explanation to why I think these legends are bad. But for these legends, I feel like you've been- these legends have been like, already tormenting you and killing you. And you're pretty- you're pretty aware of why these legends are really, really good. So they require less of an explanation. But I will, I will provide a brief one for each legend, nonetheless. And I will say that it is very um, cheesy and stupid and low peep, small peepee -pee energy, the bonky poopy. Don't like, don't just say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna choose these legends because someone told me that they're the best." Especially in, if you're in a, a gold player, I'd, I would highly advise against doing that because it's just really lame and stupid. And it might, especially if you're a gold player, a newer player to the game, it might bite you in your booty later on. I mean, I sure hope so. So don't don't have that mentality, just choosing these, just blindly choosing these legends because they're the best. But they are the best legends, and you should keep that in mind regardless. So for blasters, it would have to be Casty because she has hammer. Her signatures are crazy. Or it would actually be. I would actually. I'm gonna do a hot take. I'm gonna put Cross up here. Where is Cross? Because it's sorted by XP. Um, Cross's stats are very underrated in my opinion, and he has a pair of gauntlets, which, gauntlets, which are ob obscenely overpowered. Please nerf Gauntlet, Sidelight, or Nair. So yeah, cool. um, it would be Cassidy or Cross, but I, I would say Cassidy, she has a hammer, and her hammer is just utterly insane, so you might just want to choose Cassidy. For Spear, I would choose, um... It's obviously Wu Shang. It's uh, every, it's been, I just keep saying it, every, every phase on Sandstorm, Boomy, literally every, everyone has been saying for years, wow, that's Spear Side Sig, that's, that's balanced, good job, BMG. And not to mention his other Spear Sigs are good, his gauntlets are great, and he has a pair of, like, and it's, like, it's Wu Shang, yeah, he's so stupid. Um, best sword legend, I would have to choose Val, amazing stats, sword and sig. <laughs> yeah. Um, cannon, onx, not, does it look at onyx to you? No, that's an onx. Onx is um, insanely good stats. The sigs are utterly broken. Stupid, stupid rock boy legend that, a rock girl legend that, oh my god. Orb, I'm actually gonna go with Petra because she has a pair of gauntlets. Fate, Fate Orb is actually, I would say Fate Orb is better than Petra Orb, but I say Petra's a better legend because she has that pair of gauntlets, and really that's all I can say, pair of gauntlets, self-explanatory. Great Sword, it's kind of obvious, Mako at this point, the big splash, the big sploosh, don't know why that sig exists. Don't know what makes BMG. I don't, what gives BMG these ideas for these really obscenely overpowered signatures? And why don't they just nerf it when once they realize it's obscenely overpowered? Like months. I'm not gonna go on a rant. Uh, it's Mako. Very very good. Very good legend. And of course, and the 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 splooshy riding the tsunami wave of the side sig is also very good. Uh, hammer. I'm not promoting Taros, but I don't want to promote Core either, but Core as a stomp NSIG is true. Don't know why it's true. That looks like 5 dexterity to me. It kind of looks like I feel like it shouldn't be true, but what do I know? Core's side stick is stupid. Um, he has a hammer, which, like, the signatures, you don't really need good signatures for hammer because it's a kill option. If, if of its, how does that word, I forgot how those words go. If of its, within its of itself, whatever. But, um... Is he's core stupid, overpowered, has a pair of gauntlets, some really good signatures, and he can turn into Jake the dog, which is obscenely overpowered. Um, bow, 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 bow. Uh, you can't really go wrong playing bow. I would have to go with. I think I'm gonna go with Koji on this one, just because blasters are pretty high skill with Diana, um, and because Yumiko, she's kind of, even though she's kind of a stupid legend and she has a hammer i feel like koji just offers way more consistency than yumiko can offer so yeah and azario people might say is over under like but bo you can't really go wrong because you got azoth and you've got vector and you got zario while wow, i don't play any of these three legends because i don't like but 
I really I think Koji is the best because he offers the most consistency, and even Azoth means who say we should be Azoth. I think even Azoth means can attest that Koji offers way more consistency. Gauntlet, it's really just pick your poison. Pro, I'm just uh, it's really just pick your poison. If you play Spear, if you're more of a Spear boy, Wu Xing is obviously the best. More of a Scythe boy, Morex is obviously the best. I would rather, I would say I'd rather go against, personally, I'd rather go against Wu Shang, because I'd rather go against Spear than Mordex, Scythe, Ensig, Sidesick, Absurdity. So I would say Mordex is the best Gauntlets Legend. would say Mordex is the best Scythe Legend as well. It's so, such a stupid, such a stupid Legend. Needs to die. Uh, join Bad Wolves, but like, don't. Make I don't promote even though I promote the Bad Wolves clan, really the best, the most amazing, most amazing um, Brawlhalla clan of the most amazing people. I don't I know I I think make, make Mordex needs to be like taken out to the backyard and like shot and then like peed on and then like burned and then thrown to a volcano and then pooped on and then like thrown up on and then the volcano will explode and like you throw a hot sauce in the volcano and then the volcano melts and explodes again and then you send them to another the volcano to another planet and you have galactus eat the planet and the galactus has bean burrito plants for dinner and he dies diarrhea and then you have more like dies of diarrhea in space um axe you can't i'm not gonna promote taros i i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna i don't uh, okay it's taros it's you know why you know why it's taros um katars Katars, Katars, Katars. Oh, you could say I will say for Axe it could be Rayman because of Gauntlets. You could you could argue that. For oh, and for Gauntlets you could say it's oh my god, there's so many overpowered Gauntlets. Legends. I still say it's more, it's Mordex or Wu, but oh my god, that's an obscenely. That's just Gauntlets legends are obscenely overpowered. And for Katars, I it has to be Mako. Mako is just. The D Sig is still very good. I don't know why they give it steering capabilities. Kind of seems pretty stupid in my opinion. But what do I know? I only play this game. I'm I I only wasted my life playing a stupid game. But um yeah, Mako, very very uh, good legend. Good guitars. Can't really even she's even though she's super squishy, she's super fast. She hits hard. Her signatures actually match her stats. On, I mean, match your stats in terms of how hard they hit, not in terms of anything else. <laughs> I wish Ada would have that treatment, but yeah, Ma Mako, best uh, Katars legend. So the quick rundown, I'm too lazy to like show you the face of each legend. I should assume what you know what these legends look like. Best Blasters, Cassidy or Cross. Best Spear, I mean Cassidy, but then you could say Cross. Best Spear, Wu Sheng. Best Sword, Val. Best Cannon, Onks. Best Or Petra. She has Gauntlets. Best Great Sword, Mako. Best, what is that? Hammer, Core. Best Bow. You can't really go too wrong with Bow. I would say Ko Koji because he's the most consistent. Best Gauntlets. Can't really go wrong. It's Wu Sheng or Mordex depending on matchups and stuff like that. We can just say Mordex. Best Scythe, Mordex. Best axe, you could go. I would have to go with. Who did I just say? Yeah, it's just Taros, whatever. And the best guitars is Mako. So I hope you enjoy this video. Unless you play Taros or Mako or, or like I don't know, Rayman or Onks, then I hope you have a terrible day. You stub your toes. I mean, I have to really need to go to the bathroom. And when I flush the toilet, I will see the 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 the, the, the Taros mains his face, ugly face and. Why do things that are so obviously overpowered not get nerfed? Like, why do we need, we don't need gimmicks to exist for the Brawlhalla to be a health, like, I had to, whatever. Like, maybe it's like, oh, conspiracy, what if BMG keep, purposely keeps things that are really overpowered in this game? Because people die in the Taros N-Sig and stuff, stupid stuff like that, Onks, stupid Sigs. Like, maybe increases people's playtime to ranks, increases the overall playtime of people in the game in general, which is good for the game, and it means more people are playing it, which is good and what you want, and people could get to, their, get to the ranks they want slower. So maybe that's, I mean, actually that's not true, but people who play Taros get to the ranks they, I don't know, whatever. I'm done, I got things to do in life. <laughs> do I? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. It's, I need to go murder this Taros person. I'm going to hunt down their location. Let's eat their children.